Hola clase, hola a todos. Welcome to module number four. Finally, we're almost getting to the end. Um, and congratulations to those of you who have uh, continued with the course. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you quickly what's going to happen this week with the assignment. So basically, we have two very, very important assignments for this week. We have the oral presentations number two peer review. So you're going to do the same thing that you did for the first video. I mean, for the first oral presentation. So you're going to leave um, a comment. Uh, a voice like a comment a voice comment like what you did last time uh, for oral presentation number one so you're gonna do the same for oral presentation number two and this is due by Wednesday and then the second uh, significant and important assignment is composition number two rough draft this is due uh, via quizzes uh, by Wednesday at 11:59. so by now uh, it should be open uh, and you only have one attempt, it is going to work pretty much the same way as composition number one. The only difference is that, of course, there is a different prompt and instructions for uh, this assignment, composition number two. And of course, uh, some VHL activities that are due by Wednesday and by Sunday. Okay, so let me show you where you find that uh, composition number two uh, quiz so it is going to be available on July 30th uh, meaning today Monday and until Wednesday August 1st by 11:59. okay and simply you go to rough draft composition number two you're gonna look at the instructions and I should have sent you an email with these instructions too um, so here are the instructions of the things that you have to do and I'm gonna show them to you over here uh, on the PDF file that I sent to you so for this activity you're gonna write a 250 word composition in Spanish of course and you're going to you're going to focus on the grammatical content studied uh, already more specifically the estructura uh, estructura 6.3 per tense of regular verbs I put here regular and irregular because by now you should know some irregular verbs as well uh, estructura 7.1 reflexive verbs and this composition should include two paragraphs and should follow these instructions right here Okay, so you're going to write about the things that you did before the semester started using regular and irregular verbs in the preterite tense. For example, el semestre pasado yo fui a Nueva York a visitar unos amigos. Mis amigos y yo comimos en un restaurante elegante y caro. Yo ordené pollo asado y una limonada. Mi amiga María no compró nada porque no tenía dinero. In your composition, you can also use some reflexive verbs in the preterite tense, for example, antes de ir al restaurante con mis amigos, me duché y me afeité, pero no me peiné. Uh, cuando llegué al restaurante, me lavé las manos antes de comer. Okay, so this is due by Wednesday, August 1st by 11.59 p.m. under the quizzes tab. And I just showed you how to do that. And I won't accept any late work. And please, please, please pay attention to spelling and accents, las tildes in Spanish. You know, many of you put anos. And if you know what anos mean, hmm, I don't think you want to put that in your composition at a 102 uh, Spanish course. Uh, anos uh, mean anuses, okay? And años means years, and that's the word that you have to use. And that's just one example of uh, the words that many of you get um, misspelled when you're writing. So please pay attention to that. And that's it. So you have to take a look at module four. Take a look at all of the all the instructions. Uh, again, oral presentation number two, peer review, composition number two, rough draft. All of these two do by Wednesday. Some VHL activities do by Wednesday and by Sunday this week. Okay. Good luck with everything this week. Module number four is almost done, and then we have module number five, and we're done with the course. Congratulations. Ciao.